before we get on to our speakers, I'm getting we're going to learn, we're going to have fun, right? Once again, by show of hands, how many of you, you've been in a situation where someone said to you, I'm chilling a business, then you were like, um, hey, now when I timing yako, how long was in this all? Yeah? I don't tell any business I be so at that as it. I mean, I eat Right? We've, trust me, song, all of us have been there before. I get. Mautala, we are. Une fear, we utugi, I get. Right? And sometimes, ituba, ya glulange, ne malia glulange, because why? You were not ready. Right? So, what we're going to do now, very quickly, is we're coming on to the pitching side of your business. So, when you get the opportunity to pitch your business, already, details work, go to Oh. Right? So, can we bring up the slides, please? So, this is what we suggest and advise that when you get an opportunity to pitch your business, I pitch yako, mele ipendule the following four questions. Question number one What problem are you solving? What problem are you solving? What problem are you solving? Yeah? Question number one. Question number two. What's your unique selling point? So your unique selling point is, yes, but what's so special about your cakes? Why must we buy from you? Yes, but I'm not going to loan. But what's so special about your cologne? Yeah, no, yes, it's I like this guy. Like, already. He's a angel. No, it's all based. I like that. I'm just making an example. Right? Because, you're not the only person that's selling your product, dang it. It's funny, right? But what's special about your product? Question number. What's your story? What's your story? Why did you start the business? And it doesn't have to be a perfect story, man. Like Esaku, what's your story? Your own authentic story. There's a lady who's going to pitch, who's going to share a powerful story about the sister who had cancer. Then that's a powerful story. Story Sako when I sit in. And you must own it. Own your story. Own your story. Question number three. Question number four. What do you need? Uh-uh. Oh. song is You know, when you a product, and then you're like, and then? Do I share? Do I buy? What do you need? 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 That's question number four. The last question. It's not part of this. I thought, no, we're coming to case again. It's this one. Question number five is, your business model, what's your business model? How do you make money? Because I was listening to a lot of the pitches. You know, no, we've got a product, you know, and we want to help the community, which is great. But bottom line it's a good business to make money. Right? And don't be ashamed. You're in business to make? Money. I'm in need. So you're in business to make? Money. One more time. You're in business to make? Money. And through money, then you can employ the youth. Then you can make a difference in your community. You can't do that. So you can't do that. I'm here to make money. So those are the five questions. Question number one was? Come on, together. Question number five? Question number one. <laughs> Question number one. What problem are you solving? Question number two. Selling point. Ne? 
Question number three. What's your story? Question number four. What do you need? And question number five. What is your business model? So, very quickly, there's going to be Avanta by six, we're going to come up and pitch for the grand prize of 50,000. Woo! Some of you, you came and you said, but I didn't know about the competition. Excuse me. How do you pitch? What, 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 what? Quickly, the process is three days before the event, those people who have RSVPs, but to mail email. So you must make sure that you've RSVP'd, it? Then, Motola Leo email, we give you enough time to send a one-minute video pitch. Can I advise you? Because I, I look at the, the, the videos. You will miss an opportunity because you didn't read what the email says. There's a guy, we are paying a guy, he's a chef, like he's a great chef, eh? And the company is like quality, quality. But we said one minute video pitch, Muntu Sneaky Link, that's funny link. You don't give us what you want. That's why we, you've got to read my email. And he wasn't in the top six because he didn't give us a one minute video. But he's got a great product. So then we give you a deadline. The deadline was Thursday, 11 o'clock. Konomunya, what's in the video? I think 11 minutes or two. Quality. That's our winner. Disqualified. You late. Two minutes. Ah, fair. What is fair? Stick to time. Unfortunately. So then we'll choose the top six, and the top six are gonna come up now and pitch for the grand prize of fifty thousand rand that we are giving away today. All right, so, are you with us? No. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I I Okay, wow, okay, okay. And, and before I bring on our next picture, so we went to Daviton, we went to Gatley Home, we went to Oliven. If you take the number of people that pitched in all those three townships, it doesn't even match to the number of people that pitched in KZN. We had more than 30 pitchers going for the final prize, the most ever. Lento is KZN is hungry. KZN is hungry for opportunities. KZN is hungry for knowledge. KZN entrepreneurs want to grow. They want to go to the next level. Never, never, never. But it is the reality. And I love that. So you should give yourselves. Some of you, that was the first time you've ever done something like that. And you got out of your comfort zone. So give yourselves a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. So, Utoliswa Masango Ageko. We move right along. Our next picture is uh, Zolega from Fruity Fusion. Zolega is with us in the building. Please can we give a round of applause? All right, so, Solega, um, you will have a minute and 30 seconds to pitch your business. But don't start yet. We're going to give you the three, two, one. Okay. Then you begin. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, a round of applause for Usolega from Fruity Fusion.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Zolega, founder and owner of a brand called Fruity Fusion. We supply frozen fruits to the local market and smoothies. How it started off, I contracted COVID during the COVID era, and I took it upon myself to see that we really need to take care of our bodies. How do we do that? It's incorporating nutritious meals into your active, healthy lifestyle. My biggest problem also being a township-based um, uh, business is that I have seen that a lot of unemployment, a lot of people go into crime because of the high level of unemployment. What I want to do as a woman in business is to employ one day women or young youth into the business to help them understand how to live an active, healthy lifestyle and to make our nutritious smoothies. What do I need as a brand? I need store space. I need my brand to be known across the country so that everybody can understand you need to take care of your bodies. The one thing that has really taught, what has taught me the importance of understanding my market is that yes, you need to listen to your customers. Our frozen fruits come chopped. So those people who in the morning, it's really easy. You just throw it in the blender, you blend one minute, you've already got a meal. What I really want to see in the next 10 years is this business flying its flag high. <laughs> One minute, 30 seconds is up. Please come to give a round of applause for Zolega from Fruity Fusion. Wow. Okay. Yo. Okay. No, I'm sure is underfoot, right? Next up, and you will see this. All the finalists were females. My feet. Next up, we have Uze Tu Nyali from Z Organics Hair Care. Please can we put our hands together. Give a round of applause for Uze Tu. Ah, guys, I'm Shailen Nisanda. I'm Shailen Nisanda. I'm Shailen Nisanda. Greetings, I am Zetunyali, the founder and CEO of Zeoganics. At Zeoganics, we manufacture hair and skin products using Ayurvedic herbs and plants to help cancer survivors, people living with albinism, or anyone who suffers from hair loss or any other skin-related problems. Back in 2019, my sister, my best friend, was diagnosed with cancer, and as part of her treatment, she had to go through chemotherapy. He ex she experienced the after effects of chemotherapy, such as hair loss, and she had patches all over her body, which left me devastated and motivated me to start the company. Uh, I started making some home remedies for her until I found a breakthrough to make the products that did help her. So we market our business through social media, as such as uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, radio interviews, and also TikTok. So now what sets us apart from our competition is we are relatable, and also we give our customer, uh, 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 sorry, uh, we give our customers uh, uh, customer service that is out of this world, and also we take care of our employees. That is what sets us apart. And now I'm pitching here today for my business because we need equipment so that we can scale up and reach other people who are because and reach other people all over the world. Because now we have so many customers, and now we are failing to meet demand. That is why we're here. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you have uh, any skin-related problems, uh, hair problems, uh, you can just uh, go to the table. We help you. If you need panda, oh, 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 <laughs> come, come, ladies and gentlemen, please let's put our hands together for Z2 from Z Organics Hair Care. So it did. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. One more time, a round of applause for um, 
Zetu from uh, Z Organics HK. All right. Picture number four. Yolanda Zondi from Zondi Productions. Yolanda, are you with us? Yolanda, are you here? Ukon. Oh, maybe she, she's so busy, like she's shooting somewhere. Okay, all right. Two more to go, two more to go, two more to go. Um, Pumelele Zuma from Pumi Bakes. Pumelele. Please can we put our hands together for Pumelele Zuma from Pumi Bakes. Come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys. Shailen is under. Shapeleng Masoho. I am a 25 year old entrepreneur and a pastry chef. I own a business called Pumi Bakes. So, at Pumi Bakes, we provide high quality baked goods for bespoke events like weddings, uh, birthday celebrations, and graduations. I currently work full time in my business and I employ one person who works full time. We, we cater to individual clients as well as coffee shops in Hillcrest and other restaurants establishments. We are here pitching for the funding because we need an industrial oven to help us keep up with the growing demand of our baked goods. Um, we also um, deliver our baked goods um, all around Durban. And yeah, you can find us on Facebook at Pumi Bakes, um, Instagram at Pumi Bakes, and TikTok at Pumi Bakes. Thank you. I feel like so. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for Pumelele Zuma from Pumi Bakes? Come on, come on, some Shailen is out there. Well done. All done. Well done, girl. You go, girl! All right. Our last picture is Lengiwe Shandu from Gemi Square Bakeries. Lengiwe, are you with us? Are you here? All right. She's with us in the building. Please, can we put our hands together for. Sengi, we from uh, Gemi Square. Come this side, my sister. Some shy in his hand. Let's give her a round of applause. Let's give her a round of applause. Let's show her some love. All right. Sanbona, ikamalami ngutlenge we shandu waga Jemi Square Bakeries. It's Jemi Square Bakeries. Um, ikamalu suka ngutzi ame Jemi nai and I'm uh, thought out of a box ngutzi ngali business lam. Ah, uh, the business lam li based kona la mla ziga chigo thirteen in the informal settlements where I grew up. Bakunele mtondo. So um, after I COVID uh, and many people lost jobs, including me. I decided to start baking breads after I baked cakes for Imnyagemning. So my main product is bread. Uh, we distribute lazy singwa matak shops around Laumlas. I'm sure Kona Sebaka is in Kosam. We also supply a welfare emans in Toti, a home as uh, best donator from time to time. Ima Uti, Ima Lisibana Yuk donator. We also sell muffins, scones, and coconut cakes. Um, even though Meaning sugar from previously disadvantaged backgrounds. Logo Axanga Gung Vim Buguzi, Gitali Business Lam, and work where I grew up and show people in my community that it's doable. I work from an IDP house, believe it or not. So I've proven that uh, it, it, it doesn't determine your present or your future. I have been resilient with business slam because there were times where I could have stopped to go back in my lingeco. But I was resilient. I stood it says Yama Ikoviti, Ama Flati, Namalu things.
Askis, it's all there. Ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together from four. Thank you, Shandu. Congrats. Yeah. One of the pictures. All right, we'll give it to you, Z. One more time, a round of applause. Those were our finalists for the pitching competition. Right, we've got our judges. Um, I, I'm not going to say who our judges are because, hey, oh, we. Just one thing that I've seen before we bring on speaker say to is when you're telling people about something, especially magui product, bafunu gui born, mau tu tengi si skatul os funu gus born aleso skatul. So would have been lovely if you had brought your bread. Abon mau logu picha nya taste na mi unum. Those organic products, you know, so people can see that this is not just idea right we've come to that part where we announce the winner of the pitching competition carol please can i get the envelope this is for fourth place and third place Right. So there was four. There was six. Then it went down to four. It's gonna go down to one just now. <laughs> Can I please get a drum roll? Get a drum roll. Can I get a drum, 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 drum roll, drum roll for position number four? Position number four is Pumelele Zuma from Pumi Bakes. Please can we give a round of applause? Let's give a round of applause. Can we, can we get you in the middle? And yes. then, yeah, just in the middle. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Position number three. Baby Zanlin. Bonds. Medal. Can we get a drum roll, please? Drum roll, please, for position number three. Pitching competition. Position number three is Tlengiwe Shandu from Jemmy Square. Tlengiwe. Congratulations, my sister. One more time, one more time. A round of applause. I'm Shailene Zanta. She takes position number three. It's the bronze. We are born now. Two guys at the bagu who will pitch. We're down to the final two. Carol, please, can we get the envelope?
All right. So before I call up or say who the number two is, um, please can we have the deputy minister come and join us on stage? See ya. Please come and join us, my brother. All right, this was, this was so close. What separated position two and no, position one was 1 1.5 of a score. So if one got two, Lomonio told 3.5. That's how close it was. Zolega from Fruity Fusion, please come to the front. Z, Z2 from Z Organics, please come to the front. Please just give them a round of applause as Pashail and Nizanda. Sure. Come closer. Can we get a drum roll, please? A drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Ladies and gentlemen, in position two for the pitching competition taking place right here in Guamex. <laughs> position number two is Zolega from Fruity Fusion. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Uzo Lega from Fruity Fusion. <laughs> it's it. You must. You must act like you don't. You don't. You know. You don't know that you won. Act a surprise. Me first place? Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together for the pitching competition winner. Walking away with the grand prize of 50,000 Rand. Z2 from Z Organics. Hey, K! One more time, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Who's A2? Z Organic AK, a winner for the pitching competition. Congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but this is when band the whole time. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Winner of the pitching competition, walking away with this grand prize of 50,000 Rand. So I think it's important that we mention our team. There's also going to be mentorship, it's part of the prize. It's not like you might then go and do what you want to do, right? How is this 50,000 Rand going to impact your business? And what does it mean to you? Uh, okay. The 50,000 Rand women, it means so much because so much. So, <laughs> 
So, the Mali Lena is on Sizuguti, the Tango equipment in Edeleg Nayo. He was wooding, he was wooding Ashabanya Bandu because already is now Bassabins about two. So the was good thing in use in a scale and sense I was good in produce some product some money in the was good thing carry job and the money because in King Ben Nile would see get all the amount of the money and equipment and in now you so one to go in the music million selling seven as a song is catchy in his I'm waiting it up and to money as a product swap so in your bonga cool to in a bank and E.T. your bonga cool thank you The final question, a question you obtain. To entrepreneurs who are in the room, who are on the verge of giving up, they've gone through so much failure, what do you have to say to them? Enga gusho, kubabo inke, also my business, is that hunga la chitemba, pilivela gwena. Ngizo kulma ngami, mina nestra gosami. Mina eka yeng, sheka venge kono yeto pilivela pupien kwa zikune ndo guzo pilivela mo pumes koleni, uya hambi ofunum sebins. So, Kwabanzi Mugutin figure like Tegwini, Gimel. But I passion, no guzaz guti, no ifunayo, you know, push. Would no me maling again, but to Kube Gusebens, because when you're last popular. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, a massive round of applause for our winner, Se Two from Z Organic Heke. Congratulations and all the best. We are together. Together, big, big, fantastic. Please have a seat.